Welcome to the start of my new series where we're going to be building out a mini Google Docs. To do this, we're going to be using a library called Slate.js, which is something that works with React where you can build more complex editors and just input fields. So this is an example of one of the things that you can build with Slate.js. This one is just a rich text editor where you can basically highlight stuff and you can bold it italicize, underline, um, and there's tons of examples that they have if you go to their website of stuff that you can build with it. And one of the examples which we're going to build off of is syncing between two different editors. So you'll notice as I type here, whatever I type there goes here. And so that's going to be the base of this series is taking this editor and seeing if we can make it Google Docs like. Now what this is missing is it does not have uh, a network communication across uh, two browsers, for example. That this example, it's this is just on a single browser. So that is the part what we are going to build. We're basically going to take this example and see if we can set it up with Socket.io and communicate uh, between two different people's browsers. So when I type on my computer, someone else is going to get uh, the changes and vice versa. So this series is going to be less focused on a merging algorithm between two different documents and more focused on React, Slate.js, and getting them to communicate over a socket or a WebSocket connection. And we're going to use Socket.io for that and Node.js. So if you're interested in those things, stay tuned because we're going to be building them out in this series. Now in this video, we are just going to set up the project and install Slate.js and get a basic editor um, up and running. So to do this, we are going to follow the Slate getting started. And we also need to set up our React project. To do that, I'm just going to use Create React App. So I have VS Code open here, and you can run the command npx, assuming you have Node installed. Uh, create React App, the name of your project. I called mine mini Google Docs clone and then to dash dash TypeScript. So I'm gonna be using TypeScript for this, but feel free to follow along with JavaScript if you like. So I already ran that command and I opened up uh, it right here in, a, in VS Code. And uh, I basically opened up app.tsx and I just cleared it. So I just say, hey here, and we're gonna start from here. So we're gonna say yarn add, and we're going to add slate, slate react, and uh, these guys as well and immutable. And uh, all three of these libraries, since we're using TypeScript, are gonna need us to install the types for them. So when this is done, we're going to do that. So we're gonna say slate, slate react, and immutable. All right, so we'll let those install. And then after that, we can scroll down to the bottom here um, and we can copy this example that they have. And this is how we render in editor and slate. And we're basically going to take this example and we are going to get to work with hooks. So that's gonna be also the gist of this series is the slate examples were built with class components. We're gonna be using hooks throughout this. All right, so let's get this working. So we're gonna have a single import at the top here. We're importing editor from Slate React and value from Slate, that's fine. And we can see what it's mad at. Expected property document, which is declared on type. So I've built some stuff with Slate before and usually we got this example straight from the docs and we're having a little TypeScript type problem. Um, the TypeScript Integration is not fantastic. A lot of times what I will do is I will just uh, cast this to any here uh, and that just simplify things because I know it works and I don't bother wanting to fight with the types. So we'll go ahead and do that. And here we're going to convert this to a function. So our function is going to return an editor and we're gonna to have to keep the track of the value and the state. So we're gonna say use state here. And 
and the default value is going to be the initial value that we have right here. And we're gonna say value, and then on change, we can say value is equal to set value. Now we have value here and value here. So we can say options dot value. All right, and I can go ahead and remove all the stuff here. Give this a save. And now we can pop over to our browser and see what this looks like. I have this already running. I ran yarn start. And now we can see a line of text in a paragraph and you should be able to click on that and we should be able to edit this and type in it. So there we go, we have the start of our editor here. In the next video, we'll work on basically setting up this example over here where we can sync between two editors.